welcome Ladles and Jelly Spews to another Friday 5 Minute Facts here on Kai Matthews YouTube channel. Retro video games, British humour, puppets, we've got it all. And today we've got 5 minutes of hot retro facts about the 1999 Dreamcast game Blue Stinger. Blue Stinger, an action survival horror game released in 1999 for the Sega Dreamcast. Developed by Climax Graphics and originally published by Sega with publishing rights outside of Japan obtained by Activision. The game was conceived by the then Climax CEO Shinya Nishigaki. The environments in Blue Stinger are entirely 3D. Players heal themselves in real time using food and drink bought from vending machines, forcing players to heal only when it's safe, and combat consists of purchasing weapons and ammunition in the same manner, including swords, rocket launchers, napalm launchers and triple barreled shotguns. Besides shooting game elements, the game also uses beat-em-up elements when weapons are not equipped. Miratech built such a huge research lab on such a tiny island. Sometimes I don't understand what big wigs are thinking. I'm just a crew member of the supply ship. Heck, I don't even get permission to enter the residential district on the island. Um, I'm just at that moment in my life when I, I don't know what my life is all about. Uh, you know, what does it all mean? What have I achieved? What does it all add up to? I know, because you've done fuck all really, haven't you? You know, you know what I've always wanted to do was just sell up, sell everything. Buy myself a yacht and then circumnavigate this wonderful globe of ours. Well, why don't you? Well, I just can't be bothered. Well, I mean, th that is a big hurdle to overcome, Pat. With one condition. We have to decorate the boat before I return it to you. We? Decorate the boat? The Kimura Tech Group wants to have a Christmas party on this ship. Possibly the biggest fact about the game is that in the US version, the camera is placed behind the player, but in the original Japanese release, the cameras use cinematic fixed style. This leads to the cameras sometimes getting stuck in awkward positions in the US version, and it also makes some segments near the end of the game that require precision movements more difficult than they need to be. Did you know that the game takes place in the year 2018? Creator and producer Shinya Nishigaki was also responsible for the Dreamcast games Illbreed and Time Stalkers. Along with Blue Stinger, they have a very unique style, but unfortunately Shinya died at the age of 42, ensuring that his particular kind of quirky horror comedy video game would only exist in the early days of the Dreamcast. You hang this on at the ship's bow for protection. Pretty neat, huh? game has a porn room? Now oh, speaking of porn rooms, uh, do you remember Darren from Dark Market? Oh yeah, yeah, him with a huge, and the huge collection that you could ask to peruse if you ask for change for 50p and a punnet of grapes. Oh, that's the lad, yeah, well, uh, he's gone and topped his scent. What, old Dazza? Oh, can't believe it. I know, poor old Daz, it's, it's a terrible way. Daz, he was, he was such a happy bloke, he was life and soul of the party, wasn't he? He was always there. He was, lad, he was that. He was, he was uh, always laughing and, and cracking jokes. I know, singing, laughing, it. playing pranks on people. Yeah, yeah he was a bit of a wanker, really, wasn't he? Yeah. So, uh, how did he do it? Oh, well, that's the worst of it. He, uh, he bought himself the train tickets and, and then went to the nearest underground station and, Waited for the first train to come along. What? And died of old age. An often 
overlooked game mechanic is the fact that the character dogs can equip different shirts to teach in martial arts. Not so much a fact, more an observation that both Elliot and dogs only take a few bites of food items before throwing them over their shoulder. And you know what that is? Wasteful. Well, that about wraps it up for this week's video. I hope you've enjoyed it. You can let me know if you have done by clicking the old like button and possibly even leaving me a comment down below. Now, are you one of the few people watching this who are yet to subscribe to the channel? What's wrong with you? It's free and you can always unsubscribe later if you want. That way you'll never miss an upload from us here at the Orbital Broadcast Bunker, Britain's first and only airborne subterranean studio. That's all from me. We shall see you next week.